let's take a look at the West Virginia football roster as it currently stands today. Let's go. What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Jordan Cruz back here with the Country Roads webcast. And before getting into this video, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder, if you would, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button, give us a like on this video. It'll really help its performance, which in turn helps future videos' performances here on the channel as well. And if you're a West Virginia fan, be sure and hit that subscribe button. It helps us and it helps you as it helps get more of this Mountaineer sports content out to Mountaineer Nation. Having said that, Let's get into it. All right, so now that the spring semester has started at West Virginia and we're seeing some of these recruits enroll, whether it be the early enrollees, the freshmen that are enrolling early for West Virginia, or some of the transfers that are already on campus for the Mountaineers, I wanted to go ahead and start updating the West Virginia football roster, which I'm going to continue to do throughout the offseason. That's why you see in the title of this video, it'll say 118, as this is going to be the West Virginia roster as it currently stands on January 18th. But I want to preface this with a couple things. I'm not including walk-ons on this this roster, nor am I including any players until they've officially enrolled at West Virginia. So though some players may be on the way, you may not see their names on this list just yet, just because they have not been officially enrolled at West Virginia and announced by the university. Once that happens and they show up on the official roster, I'll do an update and add them here moving forward. So as it stands on January 18th, let's take a look at the West Virginia roster as we get ready to approach spring football here with the spring semester now underway at West Virginia University. All right, so one of the main reasons that I decided to do this this year and run this up all the way up until the start of the season for West Virginia is I always hear a lot of people throughout the offseason, you know, in the preseason leading up to the season talking about they don't really know who's on the team this year. And for me, it's just something that I always like to keep up with personally is the roster, depth chart, things like that. And so this being something that I like to keep up with anyway, I figured why not share it with you guys. Maybe some of you all will enjoy it. And if you can get some enjoyment out of it and maybe learn a little bit more about West Virginia's roster along the way, I think it's the better for Mountaineer Nation all around in the long run. Looking at the quarterback position, this likely won't change as long as I do these roster updates. These will likely be the three scholarship quarterbacks that West Virginia has on the roster. There are some other bodies there that were, came on as preferred walk-ons, some this season, some last season that still remain. But the three scholarship quarterbacks you see for West Virginia, Garrett Green, the junior, Nico Marchiol, the redshirt freshman, and Sean Boyle, the true freshman, who, of course, is already on campus, or he wouldn't be here on the list. Running back, Tony Mathis, the redshirt junior, Justin Johnson, also a junior, they both return, as does Jalen Anderson, the redshirt sophomore, and the now true sophomore, C.J. Donaldson. And then true freshman, Jaheim White, who if you've been following along here on the Country Roads webcast, is one of my favorite recruits from this class for West Virginia, also is enrolled early and is already on campus. Also, you know, some of these positions where, they, where these guys maybe moved around, uh, just kind of tried to guess on which position exactly to put them in for the time being. Some of them just due to numbers that West Virginia has at the time had to put here. Uh, starting here at the X wide receiver position, you got Jeremiah Aaron, a junior. I think Jeremiah Aaron may play the inside for West Virginia once some other players get here on campus that could factor in at the outside wide receiver position, specifically thinking of Devin Carter, the transfer from NC State. That should be involved here shortly for West Virginia. And when he does, I will provide another roster update here moving forward. But for now, with the X wide receiver position, I have Jeremiah Aaron, and then I have Preston Fox, the redshirt sophomore there behind him. At the Y inside receiver position right now, I only have Grayson Malashevich, the redshirt junior, and then the other inside wide receiver position, the H, just Sean Polk, the transfer from Kent State, who will be a redshirt senior. And then the other outside wide receiver position, you have Cortez Braham, the senior, and Jarrell Williams, the now redshirt freshman. Tight end for the Mountaineers, Cole Taylor, the senior transfer from LSU. Traylon Davis, the redshirt sophomore. Victor Wickstrom, also a redshirt sophomore. Redshirt freshman, Will Dixon. And then another true freshman that's enrolled early, TJ Johnson, the son of former Mountaineer running back and wide receiver. Torrey Johnson, a legacy player there. Offensive line, same thing goes, as I said, at wide receiver. Don't know exactly which position some of these backups will play specifically, but tried to factor them in here as evenly as I could. Left tackle, I got Wyatt Milam, of course, the junior returning. Charlie Katarinchich, who we've heard the coaching staff be really high on last season, and now a redshirt freshman. And then Donovan Beaver, a redshirt junior. Left guard, we've got Thomas Rimmick, who was a freshman All-American according to PFF last season. Now a redshirt sophomore playing the position for the Mountaineers. Then you have Nick Malone, a redshirt junior. And Big Maurice Hamilton, Big Mo there, a redshirt freshman as well. 
at center, of course, the great Zach Frazier, now a junior. Landon Livingston, a redshirt freshman there alongside him. Then at right guard, you got Doug Nestor, who just recently announced he would be returning for his senior season. Then you have Sullivan Wideman, Sully Wideman. The coach has been really high on him as well, a redshirt freshman now. And then another early enrollee in Big Johnny Williams, six foot seven, 315 pound true freshman there. And then at the right tackle, you still have the usual suspects there in Jaquay Hubbard and Brandon Yates, who are both redshirt juniors this upcoming season. That's a look at the offense. Let's flip it over to the other side here at the defense, starting with the defensive line. And just as I stated with the wide receiver positions and the offensive line positions, some of these defensive linemen may play in, you know, they may be interchangeable here. Some D tackles may be at DN and vice versa. Same with defensive tackle and nose tackle. But this is just kind of the way I listed them here in the roster until we learn a little bit more once spring practice starts and can adjust this moving forward. But that's why we're going to continue to provide these updates here on the Country Roads webcast. Moving forward as far as the West Virginia roster is concerned we will have plenty of chances to update this as we learn more but for now at defensive end of course Sean Martin the junior Jalen Thornton now a redshirt junior also there Braden Dudley a redshirt sophomore and Eric Burton who is now a redshirt freshman at defensive tackle Eddie V Edward Vesterin in there a junior Devon Hawkins the transfer from Tennessee State going to be a senior for the Mountaineers there Asani Redwood, now going to be a redshirt sophomore. A lot of people are really excited about him, as well as Zakai Lawton, the former Cincinnati transfer, going to be a redshirt sophomore there as well. And then at nose tackle, Mike Lockhart, who's going to be a redshirt junior, and Hammond Russell, who's a redshirt sophomore. And then don't forget, you still have the transfer from Penn State for Torma Mulba coming to factor in at some point. But like I said, only adding players on here as they are officially enrolled and officially on the West Virginia football roster. So that's what we have right now as far as defensive line is concerned. Moving on to the bandit position here, you got Jared Bartlett returning, of course, there, the mainstay at that position, the redshirt junior. Then you have another early enrollee, one that I've been really excited about, and that's James Hurd, the true freshman who I think is kind of tailor-made to fit into that bandit position and could play some there this season for the Mountaineers. And then I put Taurus Simmons, the redshirt sophomore, who had previously entered the transfer portal but decided to return to West Virginia. I've got him listed there at bandit as well. Moving on to West Virginia's linebacking core here, starting with the wheel linebacker spot. I've got Lance Dixon there, the redshirt junior. Trey Lathan, who will now be a redshirt freshman. Jairo Favaris, a redshirt sophomore. Another early enrollee, of course, in Ben Cutter, a true freshman to round it out there at the wheel linebacker spot. And then the Mike linebacker, the man in the middle there for West Virginia among the defense. Of course, Lee Coba coming back to play out his senior season for the Mountaineers. Behind him, we have Tyreek Austin Cave, the former Miami transfer, will be a redshirt sophomore. And then another early enrollee and the defensive player that I have been most high on that came in in West Virginia's recruiting class. You've heard me talk about him here on the Country Roads webcast. And that is, of course, true freshman Josiah Trotter, the son of former Philadelphia Eagles linebacker Jeremiah Trotter, already on campus and ready to learn the West Virginia defense and hopefully contribute in 2023. Moving on to the spear position for the Mountaineers, Davis Mellinger is still here. He will be a redshirt sophomore. However, he is recovering from a torn ACL he suffered late last season. Do not expect to see him in the spring and maybe not even early in fall camp as well. Also, Raleigh Collins, now a redshirt freshman, could factor in there as well as Christian Stokes, who is a redshirt freshman also. Moving on to the cornerback position here, Malachi Ruffin will be a redshirt senior for the Mountaineers. Did a great job last season filling in kind of unexpectedly. Jacoby Spells, the highest rated recruit in West Virginia's 2022 recruiting class, made some plays last year as a true freshman, now will be a sophomore there in the Mountaineer defensive backfield. And then you get another early enrollee in Josiah Jackson, one of the twin Jackson brothers that the Mountaineers brought in in this recruiting class, factoring in at the cornerback position. And then on the other side at the cornerback spot, you will have Montre Miller, the senior transfer from Kent State. Really high PFF grades on Montre Miller, nearly 900 snaps in college football, playing the cornerback position and never committed a penalty there. So that's good to see and also did a great job when he was matched up against Power 5 programs covering his man. Andrew Wilson Lamp, the speedy redshirt sophomore, came to West Virginia as a receiver, flipped over to the cornerback position. We know he's one of the faster players on the team. Late last season, we finally saw him get some action and he looked pretty good. I think I like his potential there. And then you get Jalen Shelton, the Juco transfer 
really have yet to see. He'll be a redshirt junior for the Mountaineers this season, rounding it out as far as the cornerbacks are concerned currently on this January 18th roster update for West Virginia. Move on to the safeties, and these names you pretty much know. Free safety, Aubrey Burks. Stand out for West Virginia last season. I think he'll be a junior this upcoming season. He was actually the highest graded safety in the Big 12, according to PFF. Hershey McLaurin, the Juco transfer, also had some bright spots last season. He'll be a junior as well. And then looking over to the cat safety position, where you have Marcus Floyd, a redshirt senior, playing out his final season with the Mountaineers. Right now, you also have Caleb Coleman there, a redshirt sophomore. And then the two specialist positions, kicker, you have Michael Hayes, the Georgia State transfer already on campus. He's a redshirt senior playing out his final season with WVU as well. He will likely be West Virginia's kickoff specialist and will compete to be the field goal kicker as well. And the player he'll be competing with, of course, will be Danny King, who is currently a redshirt sophomore for the Mountaineers, who has been talked about having a strong leg. And then the punter for the Mountaineers returning for his second season, the Australian Oliver Ollie Straw, rounding out our January 18th roster update. All right, so there you have it, Mountaineer Nation. A little bit of a roster update for you here in mid-January as we head through the offseason and continue to approach spring football here just around the corner for the Mountaineers. But what are your thoughts on the West Virginia roster as it currently stands? What player that is not yet on campus are you most excited to see add to that roster that you think will factor in to help West Virginia in 2023? Be sure to let us know down in the comments. We really appreciate the interactions as we continue to try and grow the Country Roads webcast community throughout Mountaineer Nation. Having said that, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz, and until next time, let's go Mountaineers.